Hey guys, Michael here. I wanted to share with you guys a dashboard that I created for a real estate client and just kind of show you guys uh, how it works. So this is the main dashboard over here. This is a report that I built for them. And then this is how, this is where the data comes from. So for them on the client side, whenever they have a new listing, they just add in a, a row here so they can select from a drop down list. Their real estate agent names, they're gonna select the status and fill in all this information. And then for all the columns that have a drop down list, what I do for all my dashboards is I create a tab called data validation or drop down menu. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna have all the values for each of those drop down menus so that the client can easily come in and just kind of delete any names that, that are gone or kind of add new names. So if I were to add a new name here, you know, if I were to add Michael Jordan to it, I go here then um, it's automatically gonna show up over here, All right? So we have a kind of like a menu for, for every drop-down column that we have in the other tab. So let me show you how this dashboard is put together. Um, so this is a leaderboard. So this is gonna show this is going to easily show them all of their closed sales, right? Um, and you can change the sorting from it from ascending or descending. So if you want to see the top performers, leave it here. If you want to see who's doing the worst, then change it here. You can change it right back to descending. If you want to see who has the most pending sales, change it to pending sales. If you want to see who has the most transactions, then it's going to be over here as well, right? And over here, it's going to give them a monthly, a summary of each month. So it's going to be a time series showing how they're performing in all of their main metrics throughout the year, right? So you can see how everything is easily trending. You can look down here for more detailed, detailed numbers, right? And then over here we have the lead source. So this is going to show them very quickly which of the lead sources are giving them the most sales. So Zillow is, you know, by far number one and then so forth. And then this is a monthly report that they wanted. So they wanted to see all of their closed listings on a monthly basis in one tab. So what I did was I, so what this does is this selects from the sales data tab, all the listings that have a closed status and are also in this month over here. And then over here we have like a, uh, a kind of a scoreboard to kind of show them, to give them a quick snapshot of what's going on for that month so they can see their close sales or commissions and then they can also see the percentage gain over the previous month so for june it's going to show how much they increased or decreased for uh, the month prior which was may so if i select a different month you know it's going to be red if they if it was a decrease it's going to be green if it was an increase so i thought that was a nice little touch to kind of just give them a quick little snapshot uh, before all they really had was just kind of this data and then they also didn't have the drop down list so a lot of the things were misspelled and that makes it really hard to build a accurate dashboard so yeah i just wanted to show you guys kind of quickly how this dashboard is is kind of built and i want to start sharing more dashboards that i built for clients for you guys so you, so you guys can kind of see what google sheets is capable of and if you guys have any questions just leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer them thanks guys